If you like hiking, biking, or running on trails, then you should definitely check out the All Trails app. And if you're unfamiliar with it, in this video, I go over everything you need to know. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Kevin and I'm a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. And on my channel, you'll find weekly reviews, tips and tutorials on fitness apps, equipment, and more. And in today's video, I'm gonna provide you a review and tutorial on the All Trails app. All Trails is an app that will help you find trails all over the world that you can perform a variety of activities on, including hiking, biking, or running. And it also serves as a navigation tool to assist you while you're out on the trail. There's a free and premium version of the app but in this video, I'll be focusing on the free version. And if you wanna see my review and tutorial of the Premium All Trails Pro, go ahead and check out this video right over here. So now let's dive into the All Trails app and let me show you what it can do. Exploring Trails. The main purpose of this app is to help you discover new trails. When you open the app, there's an Explore tab that shows you a variety of trails. The interface may change from time to time, but here you'll see that it shows trails under different categories, such as top trails nearby, family-friendly trails nearby, trails with the best views, and much more. You can also use the search bar to enter a city, park, or trail name. Once you type in your search terms, you can further filter the results by tapping the filter button in the top right. And this will give you the option to sort your results by best match, most popular, and closest. You can also filter by difficulty, length based on miles, elevation gain based on feet, rating, activities, attractions, suitability for dogs, kids, strollers, or wheelchairs, route types that are out and back, looped or point to point, trail traffic, and whether or not you've completed the trail before. A verified completed means that you actually use the All Trails app navigation while you're on the trail. And I'll show you how to do that in a bit. You'll see in the trail profile options, an image of the trail, name of the trail, the city and state it's located in, its difficulty level, rating, distance length, and estimated completion time. There's also a heart icon on the top right. So if you wanna save this trail in a list that you can view later, that's an option. At the bottom right, there's a download button for you to have access to the trail information offline, but that's a pro feature. Also, another way you can search for new trails is by using the map button at the top right next to the filter button, and that will allow you to discover trails by looking through a map. Trail profiles. Tapping on a trail will allow you to see its full profile information. There are buttons at the top that will allow you to get directions to the trail using a mapping app, an option to use the navigation feature to track your activity, share the trail with others, and download a map of the trail. Below these buttons, you'll see a summary of the trail, length in miles, elevation gain in feet, and the type of route it is. It also lists relevant tags, such as whether or not it's dog or kid friendly. You can view a map of the trail, and the path is indicated in red. There's an option to use a compass, select overlays, and change map layers. Below the map, you'll see the length of the trail, elevation gain, and a graph that shows the elevation gain at different distances throughout the trail. In the free version of All Trails, the overlays you have access to are waypoints, photos, and nearby trails. This is a neat feature because when toggled on, you can see more information on the map. When waypoints is on, you'll see different milestones along the trail from start to finish. The photos overlay will show you all the photos that were captured and shared on All Trails at very specific locations. And the nearby trails overlay will show you nearby trails, if there are any. You have access to all the different map layers on all trails, regardless of whether or not you have the pro version. Each map layer provides different information depending on what you want to see. For example, the standard all trails map layer shows you trails and elevation. The road map layer looks more like a Google or Apple map. And satellite gives you an idea of what the trail actually looks like. There are layers focused on topography, terrain, and more. There's a download button in case you want to access these map layers offline, but that's a pro feature. Back in the map details, you'll see a section with more information about the trail. This section actually varies from trail to trail. In this example, there's another description of the trail, information on how to get there, and nearby facilities. However, if I look at another trail, you'll see this specific information is in here. For every trail, you'll also see the weather, UV index, and sunrise sunset times. At the bottom of the trail profile, there are reviews, photos, and all the activities completed on the trail, and what's cool is all of this is user-generated information. At the very top of the trail profile, there are three dots that once tapped, gives you the option to add the trail to your completed trails list, write a review, upload photos, save as map, and suggest a trail edit. When you head back to the main menu, there's a tab at the bottom that says plan. And all this really is, is a place where all your liked or saved trails are stored. You can create custom lists and add trails that fit into the category. For example, 
we can create a new list called LA Trails. Then we can search for trails in Los Angeles and add any trail to the list. Your favorites list pretty much has its own tab at the top. And the maps are populated with any maps you click the navigation button for or save. Navigation demonstration. Now let me show you how the All Trails app works when you use the navigation feature on a trail. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how you use the navigation tool on All Trails. So once you get to the trail you want to use this on, go ahead and tap on navigate and it's going to ask where should we go. So if you're nearby the trail, what you're going to do is find that trail. Here we're at Mother Miguel Mountain, so we're going to go ahead and tap on that. And it asks us to choose our activity. We're going to be doing hiking. So here it shows you the map and the trail. It's going to give us our time, distance, elevation gain, average pace, average speed, and calories. So if you want to track that, all you have to do is tap start. So you notice all you have to do is follow along that red line and that'll take you through the trail. So while you're along the trail, you can also look at the map and use the overlays. So here is the photo overlay. And now I'm able to see all the photos taken at every precise point on the map. So here I'm near a photo. So if I tap that, I should see the exact photo that was taken at this location. So that's pretty cool. This is what Bernadette took when she was here. You can also change the map layer. So if I wanted to see satellite, that's what it looks like. So here you can see I'm in this area surrounded by all these plants. So at this point of the trail, there's this little signage right over here that gives you some more insight into the peak and the hike. So if I wanted to be helpful, I could turn this into a waypoint. All you have to do is tap the three dot icon. Then there's a add a waypoint button. And I just want to title this peak experience signage. Then you can just save that. And then that's a waypoint, it's a landmark. And also be nice to take a photo of it. So let's go ahead and take a photo. There's the signage right over there. Use photo. Peak experience signage. Cool. So something you might notice is that there's a little shortcut here, a tiny one, and it's not indicated on the map path, but if I do take it, my little blue GPS dot follows me there. So when you zoom out, it's pretty much on that path, but if you look very, very closely, you can see I deviated slightly from it. It's pretty cool how precise this GPS is when you're using the app. So getting to the top here took us about 45 minutes, almost two miles, 940 feet elevation, average pace 22, 23, average speed, about three miles per hour, 356 calories. There are some other tools you might want to use if you're using the navigation feature. So if you tap these three dots, you'll see that you add a photo, you add a waypoint, which is what we've done before. You can also change the activity in the middle of the workout if you needed to. You could also change the route if you wanted to go on a different trail. And you could also get specific navigation information. So it'll give you your coordinates, your bearing, your current elevation, your battery level, and the accuracy of the GPS. And on the bottom right here, there's this antenna icon, and that's the lifeline feature. That's something that is a premium option, but basically it'll help your friends and loved ones know where you are on the trail. At the bottom left, you'll see that there's recorded elevation, and that's what we've done so far. Planned elevation for this route. So now let's go ahead and get back to the bottom. Once you've completed your trail, tap and hold the pause button. You'll then be given the option to resume or finish the activity. When you tap finish, you'll be prompted to review the trail by rating your experience, adding photos, naming your trip, and sharing your thoughts. You're then shown a summary of your performance on the trail, and have the ability to see your pace and elevation gain splits by mile. 
You're also prompted to share your hike on social media and more. Trail history. The history tab at the bottom of the app will allow you to see all your past activities, completed trails, and stats. The activities are events where you use the navigation feature on the L Trails app during your activity, which I had demonstrated. And these would all be verified activities. The completed tab lists both your verified activities and trails you said that you've completed before. The stats tab gives you a summary of your lifetime performance, annual stats for distance, elevation gain, moving time, and calories burned. And your personal bests for each of those criteria are listed below. Personal profile. When you register for the app, you automatically create your own personal profile that lists the name and location you provided. And if this is something you want to keep private, you can tap the three dots on the top right and then edit profile. And then you'll be able to adjust that profile information as well as make the account private. Back on the profile tab, you'll be able to see your stats, reviews, photos, and people you follow. I did notice, however, that when clicking on people's profiles, that more options are displayed, such as completed, activities, maps, and lists. Also under the settings tab on your profile, you'll see that you can connect your AllTrails app to Garmin Connect and Apple Health. If you have an Apple Watch, there is an Apple Watch specific app for AllTrails, and if you're interested in learning more, go ahead and click this video right over here. So now that I've gone through all the features on the AllTrails app, let me tell you what I like and don't like about it. But before I do, if you're getting value out of this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more fitness app content like this. The good. There's a lot of great features you get with just the free version of the AllTrails app. You can find trails all over the world, the information is broken down really easily, you can get directions to the trail and a map that guides you throughout the entire activity, the ability to see the reviews and photos taken by people who have been on the trail gives you a lot of valuable information so you know what to expect on the trail before you even get there. And the way it compiles all of your stats is really cool too. The bad. The app is generally really good and it's hard for me to think of anything that would keep me from using it in the future. The only negative thing I can think of is that some information on the trail profiles are user generated. For example, some of the waypoints and milestones submitted by other users may not make sense or may be incorrect. So the app really depends on the community to provide the most accurate information. Also, you're out of luck if you're trying to perform an activity in an area that has poor reception. The reason why is you may not have strong enough of a signal to access the map information. So if you're on the trail and lose connection, you may not be able to use the app. However, the solution to that is upgrading to All Trails Pro, so you have access to maps offline by downloading them. Overall recommendation. Overall, I would highly recommend this app to anyone who likes to go outside on trails and discover new ones. The app is really intuitive and easy to use, and it's information both novice and advanced level users can benefit from. It's sort of like having a Yelp for trails, and all of the most valuable information is available for free, so you don't need to necessarily upgrade to Pro. Conclusion. So that's my review of the All Trails app. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fitness app content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.